This is uh, Mitchell Zoller at the American Heart Association Scientific Sessions. I'm speaking to Dr. Kathy Sila from Case Western uh, University in Cleveland about a trial that was presented on um, blood pressure reduction in ischemic stroke patients. Well, in this trial, the conclusion was that active blood pressure management, um, lowering systolic blood pressure on average 12.7% within the first 24 hours, and then achieving the goal blood pressure of less than 140-90 over the ensuing seven days, did not lower their primary endpoint of death and disability um, at the time of discharge. But these patients also weren't harmed um, by this particular strategy. The main reason why they could be harmed is that this could trigger stroke progression in a patient who has a vulnerable penumbral tissue or vulnerable tissue around the infarct where the hypertension is actually a protective mechanism in the acute setting of stroke. And at least for these patients who were hospitalized in China hospitals for 13 days and observed over that period of time, uh, one would think that if a significant portion had been harmed by this with stroke progression, that this would have been observed in this study. And so your conclusion about that observation would be? So, so my take on this study is that for patients with mild strokes, uh, the type that one would expect them to have a slight disability at the time of uh, two weeks or hospital discharge, um, that who don't have a major vessel occlusion, who don't have very severe hypertension, that this more active management strategy of blood pressure management to goal um, could, be a real, could be a safe option for these patients.